Hi, I am Ravina, a team member of SuperSync Technologies Private Limited. Today I am here to demonstrate working of Digital Bell and Broadcasting System Model BS101. The USP of this system is that, the whole system works on single 4-core cable. No need to lay 30 cables for 30 rooms or 80 cables for 80 rooms. All rooms are connected in daisy chain pattern which benefits the user in overall installation and maintenance cost, as maintaining 50 cables is more difficult than maintaining just one cable. The system consists of a master unit which is kept in principal's cabin, and a slave unit which is installed at various locations in building like classrooms, lecture theatres, labs, staff cabins, corridors, reception area, guard rooms etc. Let me explain each one of them one by one, starting with master unit. At the front panel we have LCD display, and 24 keys keypad for user interface, a speaker to listen to the classrooms, and a slot to mount micro SD card. At the rear panel, we have, various connectors for connection to slave units, a volume control knob for speaker, 6.35 mm jack to mount microphone, another jack of 3.5 mm to connect external device like computer, mobile, tablets etc, on off switch, and a fuse for device protection. Next we have slave unit. It has a microphone, and a speaker with volume control knob, at the front panel. Moving to its left we have various in and out terminals for connecting it with master unit and other slave units. Moving to its features. This product is combination of two systems. First is public addressing system with talkback facility. And second is automatic bell ringing system. Starting with, public addressing system with talkback facility, or you can call it as, broadcasting system. Through this feature user can communicate in five ways with various rooms. First is, one-to-one -one two way communication. Second is, all call or we can say general call facility. Third is, group call facility. User can make five groups of maximum 10 rooms each. Fourth is, randomly selected room call facility. And fifth is, auxiliary audio in facility. Through this user can play external music via computer, laptop, mobile etc. To demonstrate its working, I am going to connect two slave units with one master unit on my test bench. Here you can see I have connected both slave units with master unit over a single 4 core cable. This is the input cable coming from master unit to slave with part ID 01. Second cable is connected with out terminal of slave 1 to in terminal of slave number 5. This is called daisy chain connection. Starting with one to one two way communication. With this feature, principal can communicate two way with any selected classroom without disturbing other rooms. With this feature, principal can also monitor teachers or lecturers on their teaching methodology their classroom management techniques etc. without physically sitting in the classrooms. Suppose principal wants to communicate with classroom number 5. So here I am using keyboard to enter room number 05. Always remember to enter room number in two digits that is, 0, 1, or, 0, 5, or, 0, 9, and likewise, then press enter. You can see, my speaker is now connected with microphone of classroom number 5. I can listen to what all is happening in the classroom. I can increase or decrease the volume as per my convenience. First line of the screen is showing, talk key equals to PTT. Here, PTT means, press to talk. So, whenever I wish to speak during the conversation, I will press and hold talk key. Then we'll wait for the screen to display, speak now. Once speak now message is on screen, whatever I'll speak that will be audible in room number 5. And, when I will leave talk key, my microphone will be disconnected and my speaker will be connected with classroom's microphone, like this. Good morning students. Your admit cards for board exams are available on counter number 5 of reception area. Please collect them. Thank you. Second line of the screen shows, zero key equals to hands free. I can use this feature when I want to make some long announcement 
where holding top key for that long duration is difficult, so, by pressing zero key once, system will go into hands-free mode, and I can speak as long as I want, like this. Good morning students. Today your English teacher, Mr. D'Souza is on leave so, I am going to take your class. Please, Please refer, refer projector, projector slides, slides as I am speaking through this speaker. speaker. In, In case, case you have, have any doubt, doubt, please keep it with you. We will be taking a question and answer session after every 15 minutes. Likewise user can do one-to-one -one communication with any classroom. Press escape key to exit and come back to home screen. Next feature we have as all call or general call facility. I can use this feature to make announcements which are of common interest to all rooms. I will press all key on keyboard to switch to all call mode. PTT and zero key features are same as explained in one to one communication. Whatever I'll speak in this mode will be audible in all slave units or in turn I should say in all rooms connected with this system like this. It is to be informed that winter vacations will start from 20th December for 12 days. School will resume from 2nd January. Enjoy your holidays. Thank you. This is how we can make announcements in all call mode. Press escape key to exit. Next we have group call facility. I can make 5 groups of maximum 10 rooms each. These groups can be selected through G1 to G5 keys. Suppose I am principal of a school. So I can divide my school into five groups. Group G1 for primary sections, G2 for middle sections, G3 for secondary sections, G4 for senior secondary sections and G5 for staff rooms. Now suppose, I have an announcement to make for all teaching staff. So, I will use G5 key, then talk key, to announce in all staff rooms of the building. Hello teachers, weekly meeting is at 1300 hours, on Monday at conference hall. All teachers are requested to assemble with their weekly reports. Thank you. This is how we can make a group call. Again, I will use escape key to exit. Moving ahead we have facility to announce in randomly selected rooms. Suppose. I am production manager at some factory, and I have some announcement to make for packaging division, without reaching to complete production unit. My packaging division is at shed number 5, 8 and 12. So, I will enter shed numbers directly through keypad, like this, 0, 5, then, 0, 8, and then, 12. Now, I will press talk button and will speak. May I have your attention please? This announcement is for packaging division. Production, Production speed, speed has been increased to 1.5 times. So, workload will be transferred to packaging division at the same pace. Kindly speed up your work, so that we are not left with backlog. Thank you. This is how we can make a selected room call. I am using escape key to exit. Next we have, auxiliary audio in facility. Through this feature. I can play any music or pre-recorded message using computer, laptop, mobile, tablet etc. in all rooms simultaneously. Here, I am going to connect my tablet with master unit through this cable with 3.5mm mail jack on both ends. After that, I am pressing audio in button on keypad to switch master unit into auxiliary audio in mode. Now I am going to press play button to play music in all rooms. Whatever I will play through external device.
This is how we can play music through any external device. This was all about digital broadcasting system. Next we have automatic school bell ringing system. Through this feature I can ring bells as per my school schedule automatically. The main advantage is that I don't have to connect any attachments or accessories with this device like timer, ringer, bells, speaker etc. Also, there is no requirement to lay any separate cable for automatic school bell system to work. Everything is integrated in this device. Programming is done through master unit and bells will be audible in all slave units connected. We have multiple features in automatic school bell ringing system, like, I can program up to 50 bells to ring in a day. All 7 days of the week, can be programmed to ring with different schedule, like Monday or Tuesday or any day, can have different schedule than all other days of the week. 24 schedules of 50 bells each can be saved in this device. These 24 schedules can be programmed to ring in 3 modes, summer mode, winter mode, and examination mode. 10 holidays can be programmed in each month. So, in total 120 holidays can be programmed in a year. Apart from these 120 holidays, weekly holidays like Saturdays or Sundays can also be programmed. Bell sound can be of user choice. User can upload up to 99 sound files in MP3 format through micro SD card. Micro SD card of up to 32 gigabytes can be connected with this device. To demonstrate, I have programmed two bells. First at 7 am, to instruct students to assemble for morning prayer. And second at 10.30 am for period, or lesson number 4. You can see bells will ring automatically. Good morning everyone. It's your assembly time. Please walk down to the assembly area. This is period number 4. For emergency purpose, bells can be played manually as well, through this manual bell button. Just select the file number to ring and press enter. This was all about automatic school bell ringing feature. Hope you might have got better insight about all the available features of this product. However, our sales team will always be happy to listen from you. Also our research and development team would welcome your suggestions for improving our products. Thank you for watching our video. Have a wonderful day ahead.